Hi all, hope all of you are doing good. Today I will show you how you can add a currency converter to your Shopify store. What the currency converter does is it will show the converted prices of your products on the storefront. So when a customer is visiting your store from a different location, they can see the prices of the product in their own currency. For that, make sure you always add a currency converter to your Shopify store. Today I am going to show you how you can do it. For installing the currency converter, you definitely need to have an app. By default, Shopify does not support that. So go to apps and here you can type currency converter. and search for the currency converter in the Shopify app store. There are plenty of currency converter apps available in the Shopify app store. You can choose any of these. Some are free and some are paid. So I will today show you a free Shopify app that you can use for converting the currencies. So this is the app that I am going to choose Bucks currency converter. If you click on that app. So it is say they are saying that it is a free app. And here also you can see what are the features that the app is having. It will automatically switch to the customer's local currency at an instant speed. Instantly loading technology implemented in the core of the Bucks currency converter. Full support for Shopify markets. Uh, then we can provide custom positions and price rounding, CSS support, etc. And they also have a very good support. So let us add this app. Now you can click on install app. Now our app is installed. After the app is installed, we have to do few more settings on the Shopify backend so that the currency converter works correctly. So for that, what you have to do is you have to copy this HTML with currency, this field what they have added over here. Click on this copy button, copy this. And next what you have to do is go to your Shopify admin panel, go to settings. And here you can see that there is an option called store currency. Okay, once you see that you have to click on this button called change formatting. Here you can see a field called HTML with currency and HTML without currency. So here in the first field which says HTML with currency, you have to add this field which says here HTML with currency. You need to copy this text which we already copied. I'm just showing it just to verify it with you once again. So HTML with currency. This is the field that you have to add it in this field which says HTML with currency. Copy and paste this over here. And now we have another field called HTML without currency. We have to go to our app and copy the field that is below HTML without currency and copy this. And here you have to add this and you have to click on save. So once this settings is done, then you have to click uh, next. I have done this. You, you can click on that and then you can click on save. After that, you have to come here and enable the app. So now the app is enabled. Now let us do few more settings so that we can view the currency converter so here you can see that by default few currencies are added which is usd euro british pound and canadian dollars you can add more currencies that you want for example if you want saudi arabian real then you can add saudi arabian real then if you want omani real then you can add omani real Okay. Now, if you want Kuwaiti dinar, you can add Kuwaiti dinar. So, whatever is the currencies that you want, you can add that. Now, there is a switch called auto switch currency based on the location over here. If you enable this, it's better you enable that. Once you enable this, automatically from where the user is logging from that location, the currency will be converted based on the user's location. Okay. Now, next here, if you go to the theme, you can see what are the different ways or the layouts that you can show the currency converter so there is a preview also shown over here so you can see that so here you can try the different types of flags or the different styles for the currency converter that you want and then based on your preferences you can set those things up and next when you come to the display part you can actually set up where the currency converter has to be shown if you want it to be floating like this you can choose floating if you want it to be shown on the header you can show it like that if you want it to have a custom position then you can copy this uh, code and 
place it in the custom position of your theme code where you want it to have now let us just give it header and based on there are few options over here you can go through it and uh, based on your theme aesthetics and th theme uh, guidelines you can actually set those things up now let me click on save and let's see how the currency converter have come now you see here the currency converter have come on the header and if i click on this drop down i can see all the currencies that i have added so if i click on saudi arabian real the prices have automatically converted to saudi real so gbp if i convert then it is co converting to pounds then us dollars if i click the currency gets converted to us dollars so add the currency converter to your Shopify store so that you don't miss any of the customers who are visiting your site from any locations. So it will be very easy for the customers to know the price of your products when they see it in their local currency and hence it will increase your conversion rate. Definitely do add it and let us know your feedbacks. Do subscribe to our channel and give us a like if you like the video and if it was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.